Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your video today. So this is my rose quartz video. So the theme of everything is a beautiful pink. You have picked this rose quartz, which is very beautiful. And the reason why I wanted to do this video with rose quartz is because it is all about love. I know that you have so much in your heart for your person. And this is a video for the people that are in no contact, low contact, difficulty with your person. You might be in a lot of contact, but fighting or breaking up, or if you are in separation. So we're going to see, are you guys going to reconcile? Will you get back together? Will you pair things, patch things up? Will you guys progress this connection? So we need all the love we can get today. I'm going to put this in frame so you can see it. And actually, I think I will put it over this side. And I also brought these beautiful pink roses for a little bit of extra luck for you. You have picked the Unicorn Oracle, which is very beautiful. So I'm going to start with that card deck for you as my first deck that I use to channel for you. But I have a lot of other decks out of frame for you that I'm going to use because I hope they do reconcile with you. First, I'm going to pull three cards from this deck as themes, and then we're going to use some tarot cards to kind of see where your person is at, and maybe a little bit of like what happened. Are they thinking about reconciling? Do they want to? What might be some of the blocks? What might be something you can do to help? That kind of thing. So we have first one, two, three. So we have three major themes that we're going to use to start with first. So the first card is, it's okay to be different. Okay, it seems like you guys might have been going through some difficulties when it comes to this connection in regards to your differences. So your person might feel, or you even might feel, that you guys are too different or that there are too many things that are incompatible. That might be one of your talking points. Love from your parents. So I feel like there could be some family struggles or challenges in regards to this connection, or it may be in regards to children. Do you have kids? Do they have kids? Blending families? Do you guys want kids? Do you both want kids? So it might be something in regards to that topic, or it might be in regards to childhood wounding. What has happened already that maybe has the emotional baggage that maybe one or both of you are bringing into this connection. And then true. So are you guys being honest with each other? Are you guys communicating with each other in open ways where you guys can speak your truth to each other? You can hear each other, validate your experience and resolve or repair conflicts. So truth is important in this connection. So I'm going to actually pull tarot from my Gentle Heart Tarot cards, and we're going to see a little bit about what has happened and more details in regards to these themes. So first of all, what has happened between you and your person from your person's point of view? This is how they're viewing you and your relationship together or the relationship you used to have and this connection. So I'm going to do five cards. Now these cards are not going to pertain to the themes. This is just a little bit more in general about kind of like what's going on. So let's see here. So we have these five. So your person, the way they're viewing it, what do they think? All right, the hanged man in reverse. It seems like for a while your connection has been on pause. And so with this connection, I feel like your person has been on pause, maybe the two of you have been unable to get to each other or unable to progress this connection. But it seems like for whatever reason, your person feels like they may have external circumstances in their life that are blocking them from this connection or that are tying them up right now. But since it's in reverse, I feel like, you know, maybe now that you guys are in separation or in no contact or have given each other some space or ended things or are in the process of ending things, that with this hanged man in reverse, it seems like now they have more ability to like have forward motion or movement. So it seems like they are less tied up now or maybe even more available, which is good. 
So your person is seeing that the restrictions have been removed. Let, that's promising in regards to reconciling. Then I get the world in reverse. Some of you may be at a geographic distance with your person. Some of you may feel like it's been challenging, but that the restriction that has been keeping the two of you apart or have been blocking the two of you, it seems like with the restriction gone, that now perhaps you guys can travel towards each other or figure out a solution to this difference. Figure out a solution to, with the world, this geographic separation. If you guys are local with each other, then I would say that it's like the world is about completing or closing a cycle. And so with it in reverse, then you and your person are figuring out sometimes the closure of a relationship will give that person second thoughts. They will wonder, did I make a mistake? Should I really have closed this out? Can we move forward? Can we progress? So the world in reverse is kind of like they're thinking with the restrictions removed, do I, you know, do I have to end this cycle? Can we resume this cycle? Now let's see what else has happened or what they are thinking about it. I get the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so your person, all right, most of you are in a complete no contact with your person. So the Knight of Swords is like your person is thinking, I don't want to talk to pile one. I feel like the restrictions have been removed. The cycle is not over, but I'm not ready to talk yet. It seems like your person is, and it's interesting to see the duality here, because what I'm getting first with the hanged man in reverse is like, they're conflicted. They are, I feel like they have two minds. With the hangman, it's like they're ready to walk forward. But then with the knight of swords, it's like your person is upside down again. So it's like your person is feeling a little, very confused. And they don't really know. On one hand, this person that's tied up feels almost free or about to be free. And then this person that usually is very free is now flipped around on its head. So I feel like your person's very confused. They're not sure if they want to move forward. They're very conflicted. They're going back and forth about this situation and they're still not ready to talk because usually they rush in and they communicate with you, but now they're not. And it could be good. It could be that they're trying to figure out their confusion and they're trying to figure out what they want to say. And instead of rushing in very carelessly or impulsively, maybe they're in the thinking mode, which can help them start to come up with some ideas. The Eight of Cups in reverse is great because usually the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away. And this to me feels like perhaps you or they view you having walked away, but it in reverse like this, this is great because this card represents how your person doesn't want to walk away. So I feel like that this is promising. It might not mean reconciling yet, even though it could. It seems a little bit more like your person is in the wondering phase. Should I walk step forward? Should I, you know, end this cycle? Should I walk away? Should I end it? I don't want to walk away. I don't want pile one to walk away. I'm not sure. So your person is confused and, and it's interesting here. So something that I see with this card is I get the Knight of Swords in reverse and I'm also getting the Page of Swords in reverse. Now for you, your person has gotten every single card in reverse, which tells me that your person is very, very confused. I feel like they may even be out of alignment themselves. They may be really shocked or reeling from what has happened in this connection. And it seems like they're just not really feeling good about it. Um, What's interesting is, so I get the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords both in reverse, but the cards upright, they look like this. And so this is a divine pair. So the Princess and the Knight together, this is both air sign energy. So air sign energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra is showing up strong here. And it's interesting because it's like, look at this even. So the two of you are separated by the card of walking away. So I feel like, yeah, your person has a lot on their mind. They're thinking about a lot. They're very conflicted. They're very much in a time of confusion at this time. Hopefully that will shift. 
But yeah, so it's like the divine pair is separated with a card of walking away, but all of this is very confusing for your person. So, and it's interesting too how your person is next to the card of distance or geographic distance, and then geographic distance is separating your person communicating with you and these restrictions. So it's fascinating how your situation is going. So that's kind of how they're looking at it right now. Now I want to get a little more information on these themes. So I want to get three cards for each theme. So I want to know clarification on, here we go, why it's okay to be different or what are the differences between you? Love from your parents, three cards to clarify that. And then three cards for truth. Okay. So this is kind of what's happened. This is where your person's at with things. These are the issues in the connection or what your person is looking at as challenges right now. Um, or just maybe even blessings, depending on how it is. So it's okay to be different. So I get that these differences between you and your person were definitely what we saw earlier. So eight of wands, which represents communication differences. So you may have differences in communication styles and geographic. This is usually the card of travel or rushing in geographic dif dis differences. So you guys might find that in this connection that there are differences in communication styles, differences in where you guys live, where you guys want to go, how can you travel, that kind of thing. But what's great is that is on top of that you know, the world in reverse and the hangman in reverse. So it may be that there's going to be an opportunity at some point that will be um, a chance for you and your person to reconcile because it seems like that they want to work through their differences with communication. You may talk in circles with each other or you may feel like the communication has been the struggle, but it seems like at least right now they're in the mode of not wanting to talk, but at some point they may want to start to talk Maybe after they've done some thinking, maybe after they've had some time, they may want to send you a message. They may want to talk in person. They may have a travel opportunity that comes up that they may be bringing it to your attention saying, hey, maybe we have this opportunity now. So the eight of fire or eight of wands is that, and it's on that hangman where these restrictions are being removed. So even though the, geogra the geography is most likely a difference, it seems like they may be able to bridge that gap, which is good. And I get the star because I feel like even though there are differences, one of the blessings in this connection, one of the hopes is with the star card. So I feel like your person, even though they may feel like they don't know how this will happen, I feel like they do have hope that you guys will be able to work through your differences through communication and through seeing each other in person. And I like that your person has hope with that. And I get the Princess of Coins or Page of Diamonds in this deck. And so this is a card about how your person wants to come forward and make you an offer that's tangible. They might not be able to offer you something big or right away, but with this Page of Diamonds or Page of Pentacles, it represents how your person does want to offer you something, and that's really good. So I feel like your person does want to work through the differences. And it seems like while they have been challenges in this connection, I feel like your person doesn't think that they are unsolvable problems. Now, love from your parents. It's interesting here with this card, um, the very first card that I get, actually, which flipped out the first time, was death. So now some of you may be grieving lost parents. Some of you may be dealing with death in the family, and if that's the case, I, I apologize for you guys. That's hard. So there is that. There also may have been some kind of ending, or maybe the ending of this connection has been associated with and contributed to parents, messages parents give you guys that you've internalized. It seems like your person has been really struggling with this. So grief could be a part of it. It could be that they feel like maybe the family or the parents won't approve. They may feel with this that they just have a hard time really reprogramming these messages that they've learned or internalized from their family. It may be that there is with with this that they may feel like the challenge is that it's hard to blend families. Maybe there are family cultural differences. It may be that you guys have different views between wanting to have kids. One of you may want kids and the other may not want kids. Or it may you may have been struggling with conceiving kids. So, so there is a lot of family 
an ending energy. With the death card, especially with it being upright, what is good is I do feel like that that is something that they're working on transforming. So I feel like that's another thing that they're in contemplation about, that they're really, really thinking about. I do feel like that this has been a point of contention for the two of you because I get the Seven of Wands, which represents this is something that either they've been defensive about, or maybe there's a childhood wound that they've been defensive about, or they may be wanting to defend this connection from family dynamics. Um, or it may be that you guys have been arguing really about this, that this has been a difficult piece in this connection that you guys have been working through. And then I get the Ten of Wands, where I feel like, again, they have a lot of loyalty and soul contracts to their family as well as you do to yours. And I feel like in some way there is some emotional baggage or heavy burdens in regards to maybe generational trauma or family dynamics or family trauma or ingrained messages or childhood experiences that are weighing your person down and interfering with relationship. So this is a tricky piece. But I do feel like they are really trying to endure it. They're really trying to like shoulder the burden, basically. Now with truth, number one, I don't think you guys have been honest with each other or maybe they haven't really felt safe to open up to you because the Four of Swords is like inactivity, not wanting to participate or be active about this. So this to me tells me that there's not a lot of truth or communication going on or has difficulties communicating in the relationship more about things that are unspoken unspoken words or blocking of communication because with this four of coins there is a lot of wanting to not open up and being closed off so the four of diamonds or pentacles represents a lot of this closed off energy holding off not wanting to open up so a lot of the challenges are communication issues a lot of the challenges are geographic distance and then family dynamics. So that is tricky. Um, also, your person does have a fear of rejection and abandonment. Perhaps that was is one of the childhood wounds. But I get this five of diamonds, which represents anxieties, worries, and fears. And worrying about opening up, worrying about being vulnerable, worrying about being exposed, worrying about communicating their truth, worrying that maybe their truth won't be received well, wondering if maybe they could trust you. Um, again, maybe that's their, their wound that they need to work through is trust. So, so there is that. So that's very, very interesting. Now, I want to see... Does your person want to reconcile? I'm actually going to go shift to this deck. I want to do the pink oracle. Okay, pink divine love oracle. Does pile one's person, have they thought about reconciling? You know what, first before we see, are they going to? I'm going to look at, have they thought about reconciling with you? Has that been on their mind? We're going to do three cards. So, have they thought about reconciling? Well, I get the five of wands and I feel like that this is that they're fighting it. They're resisting it. They don't want to reconcile. Like they they're resisting the thought of thinking about reconciling because I think they're afraid or they're worried that there's too much conflict in this dynamic or that there are things that are just too conflicted or they might be conflicted in their own thoughts about should they reconcile or not. So this card is a card of conflict. It's a card of feeling torn or maybe even too much animosity but it's interesting this is a very promising card the two of cups represents a beautiful relationship a partnership a compromise working together collaborating really both of you participating so this is good so it could also be working through fights repairing from fights repairing from arguments by working together as a team so this is fantastic and the nine of swords but they have a lot of stress, worries, nightmares, panic attacks, anxiety about it. It feels like a big headache for them to think about how they can kind of move forward in this dynamic. So I feel like they want to be, they, they very much have thought about really wanting to be in a relationship with you, but it gives them a lot of panic, a lot of stress, and it really creates a lot of animosity or conflict, or they're worried that the arguing or the fighting could be too much. So right now, I feel that they are very conflicted. I feel like they're extremely torn and there may need to be some more time for them to process kind of what's going on in this connection. 
So I'm going to look now about these Divine Love Oracle cards. So let's see. Will What are the odds or the chances of them reconciling with you? Ooh, this is exactly what we saw. Okay, going within. So this is a very good card in regards to them figuring out, getting clarity, getting wisdom, getting their epiphanies and their realizations about this connection. And so this says, withdrawn from the world, needs space, time to self. So I feel like they do need to get some insight. They need to work through some of these challenges. They really need to be able to process what's going on. What are they really wanting and valuing? I'm going to pull three more cards here. Let's see. Robotic heart, empty feelings, boring routine. So yeah, your person is not really connecting very strongly to their heart space right now. I feel like they might be more in their anxiety. I feel like their heart is feeling um, not prioritized. And I feel like that they're also feeling like there is this emptiness in them that they're needing to heal or needing to fix. They might feel like their heart is out of it or their heart feels like not working right now. Um, I like this card. This card is beautiful. Victory, success, rewards, spotlight. I love the trophy. The trophy is, you know, when you work really hard and you try really hard and you, you know, put yourself into something so much that you can win. I feel like they really, really want to win, but I feel like part of them might feel emotionally exhausted or almost kind of like burned out right now. And I feel like they, there's still a part of them that wants to win, that wants to participate in this, but I feel like they also may not want to participate in it if they feel like they're going to lose. So I feel like that fear of rejection or fear of failure is strong. And I feel like they want to participate in it, but they don't want to lose. And so I think they're thinking, do I put myself back in the ring? Do I put myself back in the game? There is a little bit of a controlling over protective vibe with your person. I feel like, again, they may feel that external circumstances have been controlling the outcome in your connection so far. They may feel that you or they are overprotective, so they might feel overprotective over you. They may feel like you have been protective over them. The cuffed is interesting because cuffed is like, you know, cuffing season, which is like commitment. So that's good. I like victory with commitment. And I also feel with the controlling energy. And again, if obviously you know your person. So if your person is, is a gentle, nice sweetheart and they're not abusive, then that's good. Uh, if you're fighting are not abusive fights, then that's good. But I would say with this, that if your person is feeling controlling in an abusive way, you, you may want to really think about, is this the person for you? Because love is not abusive. Um, so I feel like with this controlling card that this is interesting and I feel like they also really want to control the outcome. They want to control the outcome of victory. So I feel like they are very much on the fence, but these two cards represent that they want to move forward. These two cards feel like maybe they're emotionally done. So I feel like, again, your person kind of goes back and forth, but let's see if we can get some insight about what they're going through based on what they want to tell you or what their thoughts are. So I want to see a little bit more. So I'm going to use this, these Hermit Tarot tarot cards for your person. What are some of the thoughts going through your person's mind in regards to you, especially in regards to will they reconcile with you? Let's see. All right. I sometimes wonder if you care. So you may think, well, how does my person not know? Obviously, I'm in love with them. How do they not know? But sometimes with arguing, with fighting, with childhood wounds, with our own worries and anxieties, with our own catastrophizing and negative thinking, we can absolutely doubt whether somebody really cares for us or not. And it seems like in this particular case that your person is not quite sure about if you care for them or not. Maybe they're not sure if you will care for them in the future or if, they, if you care for them while you guys are at odds. So your person is um, worried or doubting if you care. I get I dream about you a lot too much. This is a seven of cups energy. So I'm getting that your person definitely feels like they dream about you all the time. They do dream for this connection, for this future. They may have nightmares. We did see the nightmare card. They may have fantasies. 
we probably have the wish fulfillment dreams coming on with this. So there is that. I am manifesting you. Okay, this is a very extremely positive card for this. So I do feel like that there's still a lot of them that is not done with you in this connection. There's a lot of them that is dreaming about and trying to manifest this connection, which is so good. Love me. Okay, I like this. So your person really does want your love, which tells me that they really want to be able to connect with you in that way. They really want to be able to keep participating in this connection and keep going with this here. So I like this for you guys. All right, I want to see a little bit maybe about what might happen next between you and this person. So I'm going to use the truth deck and I want to see what might come up next between you and your person, pile one. Okay. Okay. What might come up next between pile one and their person? Lurking. Okay. So you have a spy. You have somebody in your social media that is curious about what's going on. What are you doing in this downtime, in this time where you guys are in separation or during this no contact period? And I also get the number 25. That might be important for some of you. That might be a birthday. It might be even February 5th. It might be an important date when something happened. And I get also, so 2-5 or maybe the 25th. Um, love beginning. All right. I feel like you guys, this is definitely to me seems like confirmation that it's likely that they're going to process and work through some of their blocks in order to make something happen with you. I love, love beginning. So I do feel like they want a new beginning in love. And this I believe is a 20. So it could be, uh, the, between the 20th to the 25th. So that's great. Let it go. And this number is 19, I believe. Okay. So let it go 19, it might be 19th, 20th, 25th. So it might be like that week of the month whenever you're watching it. Or again, this could be January 9th, which again could be an important date or a birth date or an anniversary or a fight or like an event where something happened. So there is that. I feel like they want to let go of resentments and challenges between the two of you to have a new beginning with you. And Busy B, the 23rd. Okay, between the 19th and the 25th, again, February 3rd, the 23rd, I feel like that, yeah, your person's been very busy, and I feel like both of you have been extremely busy. And I feel like they're going to try to work an, a, a bee. A bumblebee is like a worker bee. That's like somebody that's trying to work real hard. So a busy bee, I feel like they're going to try to work on this connection. They're going to work on letting go of the things that separate you or get in the way. And I feel like they really do want a beginning of love for you. So that's great. Um, I want to get a little bit more of a time frame of perhaps maybe if you were to reconcile, when would you? So let's see. And you guys might be going through like differences in regards to, since this is a general reading for many people, you might, some of you may have had like a long-term relationship, which is like long standing and a lot of long issues. And some of you may have just gotten into a fight and you're wondering, will we make up? So it may vary for both of you, for everybody watching the severity of the issues in this connection. But I want to see if you guys were to make up, we have three possible time frames for when you might be able to reconcile if your person will reconcile with you. So the first one in March. Okay, I like this. So this represents the month of Pisces. Aries energy is strong. I feel like that's good. I love the clover. That's very lucky. So that's good. So for some of you, reconciling in March is a very po strong possibility. A few days. Okay, depending on when you're watching that, March might be only a few days away. Or you might work through this, you know, slight conflict and get together in a few days. Maybe your person just needs a few days to decompress, to process their feelings, to regroup, to realize and learn some things. That is good. In May. Awesome. So also May would be another window of time where you guys could work through some of this energy. So I like the May energy. So Taurus, Gemini shows up, Pisces, Aries shows up, and a few days. So it seems very likely that you guys would reconcile. And then finally, is there anything that you can do to maybe 
make sure this happens, speed it up, kind of work through this energy. Um, do I want to use this one or this deck? I don't. I want to use two decks. I will use both of them. So I have one Twin Flame deck and an additional Twin Flame deck. Okay, so we're going to do two pieces of advice for you from each deck. Okay, and two pieces of advice for you regarding your person from this deck. All right. So, third party and mute. All right, we did get that your person was a knight of swords reversed where they were having trouble communicating and opening up to you and telling you their truth. So, that's, I feel like that, yeah, your person, for you, if you are mute, if you are not speaking, it may be that for you, this advice would be maybe when they do approach you, that you can start communicating with them. Um, however, I am getting third party energy. So you and your person may be dealing with a third party. That could be something that comes up. And again, it doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could be family. It could be parents. It could be kids. It could be work. It could be a lot. So it's interesting with the mute and the third party. You guys might need to talk about the external third party or the, the external situation that is interfering in this connection and maybe work through some creative solutions where both of you can get your needs met and, you know, feel safe to share. Um, and then I get pause. So I get for you on your end, I feel like what you can do is you can just kind of like sit and wait and give your person time to reflect and process. And I get fifth dimension with this. I get that you may just want to send them out love through the 5D, send them out, you know, good vibes. If you want to light candles and pray, or if you want to manifest, or if you want to, you know, heal your energy, feel free to do so. But in this pause, it seems like, you know, just feel free to help give them love from, you know, the 3D, I mean, the 5D. So that is what I have for you, pile one. I hope that has helped you. If you feel like this didn't resonate, feel free to pick another pile or another video. And if this did, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I hope you take care. I am rooting for you guys. I really hope that you are able to reconcile with your person if that's what you want. And I will talk with you later. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading today. I know that you may have been going through a really tough time lately because this video are, is for people who have been going either a no contact situation with your person, low contact, having difficulties or struggle with your person, and maybe even in separation. So I've gotten on the poll that I posted on my page last week about what do you guys want to see? And it seemed like the no contact, you know, in separation readings are something that you guys have been going through lately. So I wanted to create this video to help you. You did pick this beautiful rose quartz. So I love this a lot. Um, I incorporated all of the rose quartz into this video because I know that you guys might need a little extra love in your heart right now if you're sad and you're hurting and you're going through some tough times. You also have picked this gorgeous oracle deck, which I have gotten um, recently from Shirley Serenity, which is very cool. So we're going to, I used this in a short a few weeks ago, but I'm going to use this now as themes for what might be going on in the connection between you and your person. We're also going to look at a lot of things to see, are, your, are you guys going to reconcile? Will you reconcile? Does your person want to reconcile will you, with you? Will they take action on it? We're going to look a little bit about what's happening from their point of view. We're going to look a little bit about how they thought about reconciling. Maybe what are the challenges or the blocks in this connection? Have they, you know, are they going to take action on reconciling? What might happen when that kind of thing? So we're going to use these, there we go, as themes to start. So we have one, two, two, three, and four today. So let's see here. 
So the first, okay, beautiful. So I feel like something that is gorgeous about your connection together is the compassion card. So I feel like even in this no contact or in this separation, even in the struggle that you guys are having with each other or that you just have gone through together, I love this compassion card because this card, it really shows me that no matter what, you guys actually really still do care for each other and you really care about what is, you know, what makes your person happy. They care about your well-being. They care about and you care about how, you know, like if they're okay and are they hurting and you both want to talk to each other with compassion. You both have empathy for each other's situations. You know, you know that this is a tricky time, but I feel like you don't really hold it against each other and that you really have beautiful intentions for each other. And I like the forgiveness card. And honestly, if anything is going to lead towards a reconciliation or at least a repair and a healing is forgiveness. So that is also incredible. And I'm also getting two. both of these are plants. This Oracle deck is beautiful. It's broken down into a couple of different elements. And so the, the you know, like plants like this, uh, they're very beautiful and special to this deck. So you or they may also be very interested in plants or gardening or farming. Um, or you might even find that this is a connection that you really want to nurture and cultivate, that you want it to grow. So I love the plants because it represents growth, movement, and that's beautiful. Now I'm getting this crystal card, which says discipline. So I also feel like maybe their discipline has been an issue in this connection. If they have been working too hard, if they've been holding themselves back from you, if they've been trying to not indulge, if they've been trying to really be strong, if, you know, they've really been trying to do right by things in their life or people in their life that might not be you, that might be their job, it might be their family, it might be friends, it might be that they're really trying to be disciplined about something, they may have a goal that they're striving for that they really feel like they have to prioritize maybe even more than you so it seems like they're disciplined about something and that has gotten in the way of this connection and we're going to pull cards on each one of these themes too to see kind of more in detail about maybe what these blocks are or what has been either helping or interfering with this connection and then I get another crystal card so I get two plant cards and then I get two crystal cards. And this is actually is beautiful because the crystals are like a strong foundation, something solid like a rock. And then this growth energy is like working through it. So this is something that I find so beautiful. Like have something that I see as a gardener who I love gardening. So something that discourages me <laughs> as an aside, which you might feel as this metaphor pertains to you. Have you ever, okay, for me, I've noticed, I always try to grow lavender because I love France and it never works, but yet I'll go to, you know, or yeah, I'll go to like a parking lot and in a crack in the parking lot, I'll see like these lavenders coming up through the rock or through the pavement and growing, thriving, just cool, just fine, no problem. Don't take my water or whatever, or fertilizer or sunlight, grow in a crack in adversity. But this is what I see for you, for these cards. I feel like even if there are blocks and obstacles and these like mountains in the way, you still with your person find ways to thrive and grow through the cracks or grow through and around these obstacles. It's almost like your relationship with your person has so much adversity that if somebody from the outside were to look at it, they would be like, oh my God, these people have no chance. These people like could never be together. But you and your person have found ways to be creative, to work through these challenges, to be like, no, actually, we can grow, we can persevere. And that's because your strength is that you have so much compassion and forgiveness for your person and them for you that I feel like you guys have this very strong repair in your dynamic. And that is your strength in this connection and something that I feel could lead very nicely to a reconciling. So I'm not, I can't say that yet. I mean, we haven't looked at all the cards, but I would say just as of now, this looks favorable. It looks nice. 
next to the discipline card, I get wisdom with this beautiful amethyst. And so amethyst is a beautiful card. You know, I mean, it's a crystal for the third eye. It's for the crown chakra. I feel like both of you are highly intuitive and you receive your wisdom through like these psychic downloads. But I also feel that both of you are very evolved as people. And I feel like with this wisdom card that it's like the wisdom of compassion, the wisdom of forgiveness, I feel like that is amazing. Now, not to say that wisdom doesn't come through in discipline either. Sometimes discipline can be committing to a person and having the discipline to see it through. But it's interesting how this like is read. And in this, I'm almost channeling that this is like stop or maybe that your person is stopping themselves, which is interesting, whereas these are two green lights. And then I love how the wisdom card is like, it seems that whatever you have been going through with your person, they have been gaining a lot of wisdom and they've been getting a lot of epiphanies and realization. They also might feel like it's very wise to be disciplined, that they're like, oh no, I'm doing the wise thing. I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the thing that I'm supposed to do. So that could be a little bit tricky. But right now I'm going to look at what is going on in this connection. I want to look at with some tarot cards. I want to see the dynamics here. I want to see from your person's point of view before we expand upon these themes. I want to see from your person's point of view what happened. What is it that they think went wrong in this connection? Or the reason for the separation? Or the reason for the no contact? Or the challenges in your dynamics? So I'm going to look at this first. All right, so for you guys, you're going to get six. And this is my Gentle Heart Tarot deck. I don't own it. I mean, I don't, I didn't make it, but I own it, which is fun. And I love using it. So Gentle Heart Tarot. So right now I'm getting what they feel may have contributed to this or how they're just looking at it right now. I get the Seven of Wands in reverse. So they realize that they were a little too defensive. They were a little bit too angry. They were maybe a little bit too combative. Or maybe they felt like they were constantly being like attacked or they felt like this connection was, you know, feeling abrasive on them. But what I love is it's in reverse. So I feel like their defensiveness, it now has dropped. It's, it's calmed down. So with the seven of wands or crystals in this deck, which is lovely because we do get crystals here, that it seems like some of the wisdom, the crystal, the wisdom that they have gotten is that they're like, okay, my wisdom is that my realization that I'm getting is that I was too defensive in this connection. I was maybe a little too guarded. Maybe I was a little bit too sensitive. So it seems like maybe they're like, maybe I was a little too frustrated. But what I love is it's in reverse and I feel like they're ready to open up. They're ready to be less defensive now. Well, maybe not totally. <laughs> I get the five of wands. They're still there's still a conflict or they feel like there's still a conflict between the two of you or maybe they feel like there's still this connection where it's like they are just still feeling at odds or maybe they're internally conflicted but it seems like or maybe they're even still part of them might even still be angry so there is that um then i get the emperor yeah so they're definitely feeling see i see all this fire energy so I get wands, wands, the emperor is an Aries energy. So Aries is showing up strong here. So I'm getting emperor energy. But what I love about this is while yes, it can be about them being on their own. And yes, it could be about them really like standing alone on them, set their own way and feeling kind of stubborn and feeling a little selfish. But what I do really love about this card with the emperor is I feel like here, this is an action oriented card. Even if they're feeling all fire here, this is still an action card. So when we want to know about reconciling, I feel like that this is a good card to get. Now I get princess of coins in reverse. So they also felt like they weren't able to give you anything, not even a little bit. They had to be selfish and focus on themselves and they needed to prioritize themselves at the expense of this connection. And I feel like they're mad at themselves for it. And I feel like they're angry that they didn't communicate to you more compassion at the time, but that they feel now this compassion and they feel more empathy for you about maybe the pain you went through or the suffering that you went through due to their um, unavailability. So they were unable to give you anything, not even a little bit. With the page of coins, also maybe their career was a little bit out of whack or out of balance, and that was hard. But look at this. 
You guys, this is beautiful. I didn't even get this for pile one and pile one looked fairly okay. Um, I like the lovers. So I feel like no matter what though, that they still love you like deeply. And I feel like that's a strength in this connection here. So they still love you deeply. And I get the high priestess in reverse. All right, so maybe the wisdom is coming from their, coming from learning the hard way. Because I'm getting that maybe they're a little bit blocked with the high priestess in reverse. This is good in a way actually too. So on one hand, they could be a little blocked because they're not really receiving a lot of psychic messages or they're not really listening to it. But, but God, are they, see, you know what? This is so, okay, I get getting distracted because I keep getting too many messages at once. All right. I'll stick with this, but with the high priestess in reverse, it's also beautiful because the high priestess can be secretive, but with it in reverse, I feel like they're ready to open up. They want to communicate with you and have things not be so secretive. Now, something else that is interesting is they may not be getting their psychic downloads. They may have to learn the hard way through struggle, through adversity, through seven of wands, five of wands, but this struggle is starting to become less. So I would say it's not that it's gone, but I would say it's less. And that's helpful. So maybe during this time period apart, you guys have been able to decompress a bit and they've been able to process it. So it's been less. So progress is good. Now, the other thing is look at all these reversed cards we have. The cards that are upright are the emperor and the lovers. Now, this to me represents something very beautiful and very promising. Now, the other upright card, of course, is the five of wands. So they might be struggling against this. They may say, I need to focus on myself, not on a partnership, but I want to focus on both. How do I figure out both? Or they might be thinking, you know, I need to make my needs be okay. I need to take care of my partner's or your needs, pile two's needs, and I'm conflicted about doing so. Or maybe I'm, we're still angry or are they still angry? Or are we still fighting or, or that? Because they want to not be fighting, but they might still, still need to work through some more of this energy. They still feel like I still might not have enough to give pile two. They still may feel like I'm not getting my wisdom, my psychic downloads. That's a little blocked, but this is coming the hard way through adversity, through time, and I'm growing. So this is interesting. All right. I want to know more. So let's look at these themes. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna put this back. All right, so I wanna do, we'll do two cards each because we did four cards instead of three. So I wanna do two cards for compassion, two cards to clarify more details about forgiveness, two cards to clarify more details about discipline, and two cards to clarify more details about wisdom. So first we have compassion. Excellent. And in regards to compassion, I get, oh, all right. You are so compassionate, pile two. Look at you, this queen of cups. So not only are you giving them like so much love, you're really nurturing them. They really know how much you have nurtured them and how grateful they are to you for nurturing them. And also I feel like the compassion they feel in their heart is when they look at you and they're able to process some of this frustration that they're going through. They're like, oh my God, not only is pile two my queen, but pile two, they have my heart. They have my heart and they're nurturing it and they're guiding it. And I feel like your person is really starting to be a little less angry and really starting to become a lot more in their feelings. And the compassion is growing between the two of you when they look at you as you and they don't look at you as something they need to fight against. They're really like, oh my gosh. And then their heart is like melts. And then I get the ace of swords, which is I feel like they want to tell you this. And I feel like they want to communicate to you with passion, with nurturing, with gentleness, and with love. And that they know that you have tried to talk to them with compassion, gentleness, love. So I think that's beautiful. Now, forgiveness. This is a very, very crucial card when it comes to this connection, reconciling. So with this. Oh my gosh, you guys. First of all, all right. I feel like you guys will reconcile. Spoiler alert. The reason why, look at this Four of Wands card, which is always a relationship card or a commitment. And with this Forgiveness card, look at your person racing forward, giving you a cup of love with this Knight of Cups energy. So that is very strong, very beautiful. I love this. So your person is wanting to give you a cup of love in a relationship way. 
because they forgive you because they have compassion for you. This is beautiful because you're the queen of cups, which they know is their, their precious one. Okay. Then I see the discipline crystal card. So in regards to this, what they are details about this for you and your person. Okay. So they also feel like you have the commitment that they're looking for. So I get number one, the magician. I feel like they're, again, they're wanting to manifest a lot of goals in their life, but also more messages about this card is I also feel like that with the magician, they want to like manifest you. I feel like they want to manifest a new beginning and they want to manifest great things because you are their page of fire. You are a very beautiful princess of fire. So they know how like special you are, how hot you are, how amazing you are. And I feel like that you have not been quiet in regards to letting them know what you're up to and shining in the spotlight. Like they see you as being an empowered, very confident person that communicates very like passionately. So this page of fire is they look at you like very sexy. And I feel like part of the discipline is they're like, I really want to move forward and manifest pile two, especially at this time. However, I am so enamored with pile two. I'm so attracted to pile two's fire that I need to be disciplined. I need to not look at pile two because I'm too attracted and I need to focus on work or I need to focus on this goal or I need to focus on this task. I need to focus on what I'm manifesting because pile two is so attractive. And then the wisdom, ah, oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. They have learned or are learning the wisdom that you're the, I feel that you're the one because I get the 10 of diamonds, which is a treasure chest card. This is always the 10 of coins or, you know, the treasure chest is like the 10 of pentacles is your person really like investing in this connection in deep ways. I love it. And also look at these two dogs and look at how you guys are like all looking in the same direction. So I feel like your person feels like, you know, they know that you have a future together. They know there's a loyalty. They know that that you're all on the same page. And I get the queen of diamonds or queen of pentacles, queen of coins. And they see you as somebody they value the most. And the queen is great with the emperor. The knight of cups and the page of fire go together as well. So this is great. So I love this energy very, very much. So the page and the knight, again, look at them pointing in the same direction. There's three characters here as well, all kind of moving in the same direction. So that is beautiful. And yes, look at how much they value you and they see you as a lifelong important person for them. And then I love the 10 of coins. So this is actually very, very good. Now, I want to see a little bit about, have they thought about reconcile? I mean, I feel like they, they have, but I want to see, have they thought about reconciling with you? So we're going to put this here. All right, so have they thought about reconciling with you, pile two? Has your person thought about reconciling with you? Okay, they've thought about it, but they're on the fence, so they may not be ready. So I get the two of swords, which represents, again, they're conflicted, they're on the fence, they're not sure maybe when, they've thought about it, but they don't know maybe how. They have go back and forth, they're like, I should, no, I shouldn't, I should, no, I shouldn't. I'm going to do four. Okay. So, two of swords, they're on the fence, they're undecided. Huh, well, I get that they're starting to become a lot less anxious, a lot less fear-based about this decision. I get the nine of swords, which is usually like, look at how stressed, but it's, on, it's in reverse. So, with the nine of swords, I feel like the stress is going away, the headache is falling off, the burden and the difficult time, the climax of this and animosity or the stress of this connection is leaving your person. So I feel like they're starting to feel less stressed and that is helpful. But this is a card of worries, worst case fears, catastrophizing. So I feel like they're, they're getting over their panic, but they're still unsure. The two of diamonds or the two of coins is like, should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? They're just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that could give anyone a headache, but they are starting to release that. And then I get the eight of swords in reverse. So they're also like, I want to, when I have more time. So the eight of swords is usually about somebody feeling restricted and tied up, but with the swords again, falling out, just like this sword kind of dropping out, it seems like all these swords are falling out. 
that it seems like, yeah, your person feels like maybe I can, but I don't know when, or maybe I can, but I don't know how, maybe I can when I'm not tied up, maybe I can when I'm more available. So, or maybe they're just not available to reconcile yet. Maybe they're like, oh my gosh, I want to reach out, but like, I can't, and I don't know when, because my schedule is so busy and blah, 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 my goals. So that also could be their situation too. Now I want to see, will they reconcile with you? I'm going to look at the pink divine love oracle. Will pile two's person reconcile with them most likely? Okay, so we have one, two, one, two, three, four. I want a bonus card. All right, will they reconcile with you? Time. Divine timing, fated destiny. I like this. I feel like it might be a fated destiny that you guys will reconcile. It's just, again, timing. Not sure when. Fireworks. That's lovely. This represents happiness. This is a celebration. This is like a big yes. Loving, passionate intimacy. I like that. Okay, that's perfect. So, sour patch. Hot and cold, mixed feelings on and off. Again, for some of you out there, they're still undecided. So, interesting, I see the leaves, which are very interesting to the leaves we got in the Oracle deck at first. So I feel like that first, they're going to still feel undecided when you guys are going through this rough patch or when maybe their life is going through a rough patch. Music melodies, soothing your soul through music. All right, so your person is definitely starting to be soothed and feel better. I love this. So I feel like they're going to be listening to some music that is going to kind of heal them or remind them of you, or they may even send you music that they've been listening to, or maybe there's music between the two of you that's very special, or maybe they hear your song, you know, like they're in the grocery store and your song comes on the radio or whatever, you know, so, so it's interesting. So they hear your song or they want to send you a song or maybe music is healing them right now. And then the bonus card is detox, spiritual cleanse and purging. So I feel like that for the most part, I feel like that as your person is detoxing and cleansing and purging these energies that they're going to, because even though this is a hot and cold energy, and even though this is a, we don't know when energy, I feel like that this is such a beautiful yes. And this is such a beautiful yes. So I love this a lot. And this is such a healing, which is nice. Okay, so if they do, I'm curious about, for most of you, when would this be? So, I'm going to do some time frames for you. This is obviously a general reading, so a lot of you are watching, and a lot of you are watching at various times. So, some time frames that are strong. The first one, then we get second window of time and third window of time. Also for you guys too, you guys might be going through different levels of connection. So some of you may have like had a big, huge fight or going through a major breakup. Whereas others of you may be just going through like a little squabble and you're wondering, will we make up? So based on that, that's also can vary as well based on how much healing might have to happen or what big things might need to change. But I do get for the first card that for some of you, you and your person are going to reconcile in December, more towards the end of the year. So that's good. So depending on when you're watching this video, this could be soon or this could be far. Another window of time in October. Okay, so a lot of this might happen in the fall. So there may be some of that reconciling later. Also see this card, this is a full moon eclipse. Or see when there is an eclipse as well as an additional astrology um, information. And for the others of you, I get within six months. All right, so none of this really seems super soon, unless you're watching this later on. But within six months looks good. Also, because there's a fish here, I would say pay attention to Pisces energy or Pisces month within six months or December or October. Now, what's some advice for you that maybe you could do in order to make this situation come about or happen easier. 
Um, let's see. So I want to get, ah, no, I want, I want to get these. All right. So I'm going to get two cards of advice for you in my, in this Twin Flame Guidance Oracle deck. And we're going to get two cards for you in this Twin Flame deck by Dr. Liv Tarot. All right. Okay. So advice for you, what you can do in this challenging time. Okay. Free will. You also have free will, my sweet darling, darling. You can take leaps of faith as well into any direction in your life that you want. This is very important. It says choices, decisions, contact, in inaction, action. Action cannot be forced. So because we can't force your person to reconcile with you or hurry them up, they do seem like somebody that's very much an indecisive person, um, or at least right now they are. It seems like since you can't speed them up, you get to, with your free will, decide how long do you want to wait? Do you want to give them a time limit in your own head about how long do you want to wait around for them to reach back out or reconcile with you or that sort of thing? And how do you want to live your life? And do you want to take a leap in your own life? And I get material world. So I'm getting for you, what do you need or what do you want to do in regards to your career that you can focus on right now and do more free will when it comes to your career with material world is very cool because look at this beautiful card there's money and this is so cute is this actually like yeah this looks like a euro or a franc or something anyway there's money here and then look at this plant which again growth which is beautiful so for you, you may want to, as they're dealing with their free will, and you have your free will, that you focus on maybe growing your career or grow your finances or focus on you and focus on your, like, you know, material life. For you, I also get sacral chakra. So for you, maybe creativity is going to be very important. Again, look at the flowers. I think that's interesting. You've had such a theme of plants and growth in this connection. Um... And so, yes, I get sacral chakra, I get happiness, I get, what do you want to do? Do you want to take a lover? Do you want to wait? Do you want to, some of you, not all of you, some of you, they may call you and you guys might make up through passion. So you guys might like kiss and make up. So there may be some sexuality there. Maybe you guys will talk with each other in a passionate sexual way. It does seem like they have to really hold themselves back from talking to you because you're too hot. So there may be a little bit of that. And I get clarity. So I get for you, you may need your own clarity. And so it might be a good time period for you to really meditate on what you want or think about what you want or think about what might make you happy in a passionate way as well. So you may be also tapping into your creativity at this time. And maybe you can even be creative and make some money at it. And then also maybe some of you are like sexual and make some money at it. Who knows? I don't judge. All right. Anyways, that is very interesting. And I feel like last pile got one more thing. Oh, yes. They got thoughts. So what are some thoughts from your person? To give a little more insight about what they're thinking about you now that you guys are in this no contact situation or this separation situation so what are some of your person's thoughts about you now um we'll go with these we're gonna go with all of them but we're gonna go quick okay so i know we're done <laughs> with our time all right all right i'm open to compromise great your person is definitely willing to compromise with you that is huge and a very crucial piece towards reconciliation happiness is my priority i like that so your person is going to try to make themselves happy ace of cups this is a very gorgeous very gorgeous romantic card so this is romantic love we love this so they really want to be happy in romantic love and they have happiness with you they want to compromise they want to be happy they want this romance with you I just dream and wish for everything. They, I feel they're having dreams about you. They have a lot of fantasies about what they would like to have with you. I'm in so much pain. Your person is definitely suffering right now in this no contact and in this separation. I need more time. So they may need some healing time. And that might be the important part about this. 
wait. I feel like they don't want you to leave. However, you have free will, you can jump off that cliff. But I get, wait, I feel like they would tell you, they, would, they want you to, like, they're like, wait, I need more time. I need to heal. I'm too afraid to talk. So they're too scared to talk to you. I'm ready. <laughs> you already know. Okay. So I do feel like that they might be ready to compromise. They might be ready and then they change their mind. Like they're like, okay, I'm so brave. Now I'm a chicken shit. Like I'm so, I'm ready. I'm too afraid. I'm ready. I'm too afraid. I need more time. I'm ready. I need more time. So your person also may need to gather up their courage and then you already know. So I feel that your person has maybe told you how they think and feel and, or maybe like as you guys were your last conversation that you had, or maybe your own psychic intuition that maybe you already know. So that is interesting. And then I want to get one more beautiful final message. Oh, what's going to most likely happen? That's what I did. <laughs> I don't always do the same thing for all the piles, but pile one came out so cool that I was like, no, I want to keep following at least similar structure. And I know we're going over, but who cares? It's my video. And you guys get to keep watching if you want to. You need extra love today. Okay. Lack of passion, seeing clearly. All right. So I feel like for your person that during this time of no contact and separation, they're like, oh my God, all that passion that I felt for pile two, all this passion is like, I can't have it. Like, you know, pile two gave me so much passion and I feel so much passion for them that now that we're in separation, all that passion is gone. I have no more passion without them. So that is going to be the first step to them seeing clearly. So losing you and not being able to have all the passionate sexy times that you guys have had together is going to make them have a lot of epiphanies. Oh, again, compassion forgiveness card. Empathy overload. They are going to have so much compassion for you, especially if like they were sometimes making choices with their lower appendage and now they're needing to, with that gone and they can't lose themselves in the distraction of sex, they're going to be like, oh my God, I feel my feelings. I don't like feeling my feelings. <laughs> and then I get new lifestyle. So I feel like that with your person, they're going to need to try to create a new lifestyle so that it will support this connection. I get asked for help. So your person may either ask you for help or somebody that they trust because I get trust. And I feel like they might ask somebody that they trust for some guidance or for some help because they're in so much pain. I get low vibes. So maybe your person gets some therapy. Maybe your person heals or maybe your person turns to you for healing. So that is very interesting. And now I will stop because I know we've gone a long time and I'm done with all my cards. Well, I have a lot more cards, but we're done today. But I will always be here for you guys. So if you ever need me, I am always here for you. Feel free to reach out if you ever need me. And I am never too far away. So I hope this has helped you and I hope it's resonated. And again, my heart goes out to you because I know it's painful. So if you've liked this video, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. If this didn't resonate with you, no worries. Feel free to pick another pile or another video. And until next time, I want to let you know I am rooting for you. I am rooting for you and your person together. I can tell how much is there. There's like so much love. And I hope that, you know, your person can get it together and figure it out. All right. See you later. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading today. I know that this is a sad topic because I asked in the poll what you guys have been going through lately and what you guys want to focus on. And the highest number has been that most of you are going through a no contact situation or in separation with your person and you want me to do some videos on that. So I'm going to start to do some videos on that for you. Um, we are focusing today on will you reconcile with your person? You have picked this beautiful rose quartz. Now I have picked all rose quartz for this pile because I feel like you guys need extra love. So I picked this stone of love and I brought even some loving roses in to give you guys a little good luck, a little good energy. And I have this rose quartz here for you, which I will put in frame so we can see and look at what's going on between you and your person in this connection. What are some blocks? 
What are some themes about what has happened in this connection? Will they reconcile? Are they thinking about it? When will they? And all sorts of details. So we're going to focus on this. Now, I want to look at some themes. Now, for the other two decks, you get, they picked oracles. Now, for you, you have this Alchemia Tarot as the cards, but I'm going to use this as your tarot, and I want to find some themes first. So, I'm looking at my decks right now, and I want to see what kind of themes do I want to... Mmm, we're going to go with Hidden... Okay, we're going to go with Hidden Truth. So, we're going to look at what themes are coming up. What's going on here? And... All right, what is going on in this connection? Ooh, too many. <laughs> I uh, focused a little too hard, but I want to let you know they love you. That's important. I'm going to, wow. Okay. I feel like this, and I'm going to take I love you. All right. Will you reconcile between you and your person? You came closer than anyone. I replay our conversations over and over. I wish things could be different. And I love you. Well, right out the gate, there is a ton of love in this pile between you and your person, or at least on their side to you for sure. But I have a feeling it's reciprocated by you. Before we get to these themes, I am going to see what is going on from your person's point of view in regards to this connection with you. So how are they looking at it? How are they experiencing it right now from their point of view? What is happening? So we have one, two, Three, four, five, we'll do six. All right, how is your person looking at this connection with you right now as it stands? So I get the three of wands in reverse. It seems like your person doesn't know if you guys can have a future or maybe you've told your person we can't have a future. Usually this is a card of forward travel. This is the card of future or planning or thinking about the future. It seems like your person is having a hard time really thinking about what the future could be right now. So your person is struggling. Also, if there's a geographic distance between the two of you, they may feel like it's difficult if you guys are long distance. Ace of coins in reverse. They feel like they have not, they're not wanting to offer you something tangible or something real yet or now. And we're going to get details about this. So you may already know they're not offering you anything. They don't know if they can think about the future. I get the queen of coins upright though, but look at how much they value you. It's so interesting. It's like the love is so strong though. Also, you may be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy, or if you are an earth sign queen. So it's fascinating. It's like they love you. They wish things could be different. They still think about your conversations. They know how close you guys have been, but yet they're having a hard time seeing the future with you. They feel like they can't give you a tangible offer. They see your value stronger than probably anybody. You're their queen of coins. That's like a wife card. Then I get the death card in reverse. I feel like they would like to reconcile, but I feel like they may not know how or how to give you something concrete. Because I'm getting the death card is an ending. But I feel like they don't want an ending between the two of you. They don't want this death. They don't want this. But they also might not be changing, transforming, or growing. Or they may feel like the connection is stuck. And the connection's not changing, transforming, or growing. So there is this energy. Then, let's see. Knight of Cups. But okay, look at this person still coming in, giving you the love. All right, this person seems like they have so much passion and romantic fantasy for you. Like they have so much love for you. They just want to come in as like a knight in shining armor and like this prince charming. But yet they are not doing it. We can see why. 
And then I get the Four of Wands in reverse, which is a marriage or relationship card that's not happening. So it seems like they're feeling like, and again, you know, you guys are in separation, you guys are broken up, or you guys aren't together. And it's like they're looking at this connection as not happening. Okay, so let's see why. All right, so that's how they're perceiving this connection at this time with you. And you probably agree. You're probably like, yeah, that's how we are. That's how things are. But let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. But the passion and the love that comes through in this connection from your person to you, it's interesting. I don't know if they're in pain, but I feel like there's, so I don't know if it's like a pining or like a yearning. It's just like a, like a sweet, innocent, romantic love. So it's like this torch they hold for you in this way. So two cards to clarify. You came closer than anyone. Two cards to clarify. I replay our conversations over and over. Two cards to clarify. I wish things could be different. Two cards to clarify. I love you. All right. You came closer than anyone. And interesting, actually, the roses I picked for this video today, the red roses, these are like passionate true love roses. All right, I get the Empress in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Part of me thinks that maybe you ended it. Maybe they're feeling like they can't come back in. The you came closer than anyone, but with the Empress in reverse, it's like you, the Empress, are like saying no to this or to them. They feel like maybe you have the power and that you're like, I can't. If there's a third party or if like they've moved on and there was somebody else, they may feel like, oh, they're in a relationship. They can't move forward with you. They can't talk to you if they're in a relationship with someone. But I feel like in this case, the Empress is like, you're saying no. And I get the Ten of Wands. Because this is like the woman. I mean, again, I would say like the Divine Feminine Energy is saying no to this. So the Ten of Wands in reverse is like the soul contract. It seems like maybe they think it's done or over or complete. Or maybe they feel like, you guys haven't don't have a soul agreement to reconcile or to come back together. Or maybe it's like they feel that like you came closer than anyone and then you broke up with them or and then you left or something. I get I replay our conversations over and over. And I get the eight of coins. They remember when you said that they were not committing to this connection. When you said, you know what, you're not putting any effort or energy in this connection. You're not consistent. You're not really, you know, being the same each day. You are maybe in and out. Maybe you're hot and cold. It's like those words that you've said, they that's really stuck with them. And the eight of cups in reverse, I feel like they don't really want to walk away. They want to reunite with you. This eight of cups in reverse is like a card of coming back. So maybe they're like, oh, wow, my pile... Pile three, my person said, you know, I'm never around. I always leave and then I come back and I'm in and then I'm out and I'm never around. And it's like they're realizing or they're thinking that, wow, I just, I haven't been consistent. I, I always leave. I wish things could be different. Page of Cups. They wish they could give you their cup of love. They really wish that they could really offer you, just like that Prince Charming, that Knight in Shining Armor card we got, that Knight of Cups. They really wish that they could give you this. Also, I feel like if you're angry with them or they think you're angry with them, that they think that, like, they wish that you would maybe reinitiate a conversation or they wish that, you know, things were different. Maybe they do wish that you guys could have been together. But it seems like they don't want to take a risk on that with the fool. They don't want to change their life. They don't want to take a leap of faith. It seems like they haven't wanted to move forward in that way with the fool in reverse. It's like they wish that you would give you them their your cup of love, but that they don't they know that you're not going to. So so there's that. The I love you. Wow. Yeah, they do. This King of Cups, they deeply, deeply, deeply love you. This is interesting. 
this pile, I feel like you've probably ended it with them. They don't feel like you would be receptive to hearing from them. They wish that you would talk to them. However, the love that comes through in this pile is stronger than the other two piles. Not to spoil it if you wanted to switch over to those piles, but yeah, wow. The, pi the love that comes through in this pile, I, I haven't seen anything like it. And then I get the High Priestess in reverse, which is like, you know, they think that you're just this oracle, this beautiful, divine, spiritual, like, incredible like the king of cups and the high priestess they see you as this like beautiful pair but again they see you as like out of balance or not wanting it or upside down or you know this kind of thing so they're like i love you and i even see us together but but it seems like you don't want it that sort of thing so that's very interesting all right so now i want to see Let's see. Have they thought about reaching out to you? I am curious. Have they thought about reaching out? Has that been on their mind? Have they thought about it? One, two, three, four. Well, I get that they're not mad. So I get that they are not resistant to it. So I get, this is the five, yeah. So I get the five of wands in reverse. So if it was upright, I would say they're conflicted about it, they're fighting it off, they're resisting it, but it's it's in reverse. So they're, they're not resistant to this energy. They're not fighting it off. I feel like, you know, they're open to it. Oh, they have thought about it. I get this knight of wands. They want to rush in. Your person also might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want to race in. So they are not fighting off the idea of reconciling. They want to impulsively do it. And then the six of swords in reverse, but they're feeling like they can't maybe be a partner. Maybe they feel like they can't do it. Six of swords in reverse is like the boat is upside down. See how it's a boat? And it seems like it's upside down. So they're like... They think about it. They think, gosh, I would just love to race into pile three. I would love to reconcile with pile three. I would want to contact them. I would want to travel to them. I am not resistant. I would see them tomorrow. But they're not, but they're like, but I can't do it. Or we can't do it. Or pile, you know, three doesn't want me to do it. Or for whatever reason, they're not, they're not moving forward with it. And the king of coins, but they look at it like husband energy. They look at it like major soulmate energy and they got you, you know, as somebody very valuable. So this king of coins, I feel like they are like, I want to race in and be like a husband to you, be like the perfect person to you, be somebody very tangible and grounded and also all my passion. They, they would totally, but it seems like haven't done so. All right. I want to see what are some of their thoughts? Oh, will they reconcile? I did a little order in the last two piles. I want to stick with. Okay. Will they reconcile? Will they take action on you? Okay. Do five. Because it seems like they thought about it. Muse. Artistic inspirations, entertainments. I feel like they are so inspired to do so. They may even do so. The muse is like, they have so much love there. They are so much passion there. They want to. Healing. Recovery from traumatic events that caused pain and suffering. I feel like they don't want to mess up your healing. And it's interesting because this, look at this. It's like this rose quartz that we have here on the heart chakra. It's so they're not wanting to hurt your healing. Or they're hoping that maybe that you have done some healing in this interim here. Traditions, morals, values, family roots. So I feel like there's part of them that wants to reach out, but it may conflict with traditional values. Maybe they feel like they want to have morals. If they have a family, it might be a consideration for them. Um, incoming abundance, reliable structure, foundation. This looks great. I feel like that, yeah, 
they, I feel like incoming, like they would love to come in. <laughs> I feel like they would probably try to. There may even be some kind of financial offer they can make you, maybe a job offer or a networking situation, or maybe they'll try to come in. Remember if they, we got the Ace of Coins in reverse, they couldn't give you that coin. And now I'm getting, they're giving you this coin coming in. And that's interesting. That might be the muse, that might be their idea. They may be like, oh my gosh, I could reach out to pile three because I do have this offer I could make the pile three and then falling apart. Feelings fading, losing interest. So I feel like they think that maybe over time that your feelings have faded for them and that they're losing interest because trust me, they have not lost interest in you with all the love cards we got and that I love you. Literally the first card being like, I love you. They have not lost interest in you, but they feel like, you know what? I don't even think pile three is interested in me anymore. I don't even know if they even are even thinking about me still. I feel like that's what your person is thinking about you. Now I want to see what's going to most likely happen next. We have the truth deck. What will most likely happen next between you and your person? Fear and worry. So your person is going to go through a lot of fear and worry about maybe reaching out or maybe in their own life but it seems like maybe they're afraid or worried you don't feel the same anymore. This is the number 16, so maybe January 6th or the 16th of the month, or maybe that's an important date for you or for them. Fresh start, 10. So the 10th, perhaps. So I feel like they would love to make a fresh start with you, but they're afraid to make a fresh start with you. Choose you first. I feel like they're trying to choose you first before anybody else. Ironically, this is the number one, the first. So I feel like they want to choose you first, but I'm also getting in this connection that they're afraid to make a fresh start with you. And again, they're trying to prioritize your preferences and needs over theirs. Children involved. So some of you may have children or children may be involved in this connection. I get the seven, so maybe the seventh. So that's very interesting. So I'm also getting July, January, October. So it's very interesting here. So there may be some children involved. All right. Now I want to know what are some untold truths of the heart oracle? I'm actually going to jump to this one because it's in my vision and I feel like it. Okay. So. What are some thoughts that they have about you now in regards to this connection? Pride. There may be a Leo involved. I get ego, arrogance, stubborn love. So I feel like maybe they are acting from their pride or maybe you or they are, or somebody is a Leo. I'm getting that they may be being a little stubborn, maybe a little arrogant, but again, the Leo gives so much love. So they might think you're being stubborn. Frozen. Stillness, silence, no words. So it seems like right now they feel like this connection is on pause or frozen in time. Nourish, self-harmony, soul growth, and comfort. I feel like they would love to, if they could, they would love to nourish you. They would love to nurture you. They would love to give you this kindness, this love. And I like how I feel like they want to comfort you. They're focusing on themselves right now. And then heart song, inner knowing, telepathy, intuition. I feel like right now what they're thinking is they definitely have so much love for you in their heart. And I feel like there may be with the muse card, and the song card, maybe they're listening to songs or there may be songs that remind them of you. So there is this. Now I wanna see what are some of their thoughts in regards to you and in regards to this connection. So what are they thinking about you now that you guys are in no contact, now that you guys are in separation? You already know. Strength, ego, again, very interesting. So this is yet again, a very interesting Leo energy. So I get the pride card that we got before, the Leo card. So I feel like that there's a lot of strong feelings here. They're, they might be worried, does it come from my ego? You know, 
that I do get seek professional advice. So your person may be getting some therapy or they may be getting advice from like, not even a friend or a family member. This is more professional advice. At pile two got asked for help, but I feel like in this particular case, this is like professional help. So they might be seeking, they might be asking their coworkers or their bosses about this, or they might be getting some actual medical or professional help. You make me want to do bad things connected to, and the 15th is important. So maybe on the 15th or January 5th, or you know that. So I am addicted to you and you make me do bad things. So there's like a lot of passion here. Also August 15th could be something. You have so many choices and options. So they know that you have so much going on for you and so many people you could be with. Wow, you guys, you already know that I want a fresh start with you. Some of you, maybe you guys are wondering, should you reconcile with them? Because I get that you already know that they want a fresh start with you and we got the card that says fresh start. So that's fantastic and again, the card one with fresh start. So that's very, very interesting, June 1st. So very, very interesting, you guys. Okay, now what advice? Oh, actually no, first we're gonna look at if they were to come forward, when would that be? So I'm gonna look at my timings. All right, so if your person was to reconcile with you, when would it be? We're gonna do three windows of time because we have multiple people watching at multiple times in the years. So, when would it be? So here are three windows of time. If your person's going to reconcile with you, when would it be? In November. So, so I feel like that one of these windows of time would be in November, within six months. Also, this is a Pisces energy, so it also could be March, could be Pisces, end of February, beginning of March, or within six months from now. And in October. So that's interesting. All right, you guys. So here are some windows of time where your person may reconcile with you or reach out. Um, now, let's see. Advice. So I have two cards from Twin Flame Guidance Oracle. In regards to advice for you, what you can do regarding this connection that might be able to help it, we're gonna do actually all of these. We have intuition, we have trapped, we have love, we have ascending, and we have divine intervention. Guys, very interesting. All right, so we're gonna go ascending. So. I do feel like that right now you've been growing, healing, evolving, ascending. You've been going about your path and that's very beautiful, very romantic. Intuition. You have been very focusing on, you know, very much focusing on your intuition when it comes to your person, when it comes to this connection. So keep listening to it. It says, let your intuition guide you. You are what you have been looking for. So it might be that you don't want to reconcile with your person. It may be that you're wanting to just give love to yourself. But I also get trapped. So you yourself may be in a situation which is restricting you or holding yourself back. Or maybe like the Eight of Swords, you're holding yourself back and that you could free yourself at any time. I get the love card. So I do feel like if you want, you can always give this person love if you want to. And then I get divine intervention. So look at this tower moment. Look at this lightning. Very cool. So the divine intervention in this card is very strong. So it may be that the universe is gonna take care of it for you. Or maybe you're waiting for a miracle or waiting for divine intervention. And then my twin flame soulmate deck by Dr. Liv. All right, this, settling and awakening. So for you, you may think about what are you settling for in your life? Are you settling? Is there something where maybe you don't have to settle? It says scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith, believe that you deserve the best. Do you feel like if you were to reconcile with your person that you would be settling? I'm getting a lot of cards about how they are in love with you, but are you in love with them? Um, it's interesting here. 
You may be insecure about can they or will they reach out to you? You may have a lack of faith in this person or in this connection. And so it may be that you're needing to heal your own confidence in yourself. And then awakening, realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. So I get you're wondering, is this person my twin flame? Is this person growing as a person? Are they awakening? Maybe you need your person to grow or awaken in order for them to be the right match with you. So this is interesting. And I feel like, okay, I'm going to do final messages for you from your person as a little bonus. So I want to know with the stellar energy, we're going to do two. First, we're going to do this one and then we're going to do that one. All right. First of all, what are some of their shadow and light side messages that they have for you? These that they're currently feeling now that you guys are in no contact and in separation. You're my secret inspiration. That is so interesting because we got the muse card. That's really interesting. So you're my secret inspiration. Your person is so inspired by you. I'm afraid to open up to anyone. So yeah, your person's afraid to talk and may be afraid to open up to anyone. I can't admit that I'm wrong. So your person can't admit that they are wrong. Now, in regard, that's, that's tough when it comes to reconciling. You might be waiting for them to admit that they were wrong or to apologize to you. Now, three cards, final messages. What your person is thinking and feeling about you in this separation, in this no contact time. Happy ending. I feel like they really would like to have a happy ending with you. But they are all tied up right now. They might not be able to. Or maybe they're holding themselves back. But they have a lot of burning passion for you. All right, guys. That is the message I have for you today. I just want to let you know, you know, I know that you're going through a tough time. But I am really rooting for you. I am sending you so much love. I hope that your heart is healing. And I am hoping that if you want to reconcile with your person, that you can and that that opportunity happens for you. And until next time, I hope that, you know, you just keep working on healing and healing more and more and more. Um, if you feel like this reading did not resonate with you, feel free to pick another pile or another video. And if it did, I'd love for you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.